Standing outside Central Community, it's, uh, I guess it's 1035. We've got an 11 o'clock Christmas Eve service. This will be my last service to preach of the decade. My fourth decade of preaching. That seems crazy to me. Four decades that I've been preaching already, and this is the last service, my last message of the decade that I'll be preaching. And the first service was just so incredible. I wish every single one of you could have been here. The music, Marcia, was amazing. Marcia's been working with our granddaughter, Callie, and she was just phenomenal. The two of them together, they sing that song, Mary, Did You Know? And then um, Jennifer, one of the young women in our church, she's um, opera. Oh, Bajesu Bambino, just incredible. Opera, and then just everything about the service was amazing. With candles, and carols, and incredible music just amazing and I thought about what a gift the joy of Christmas is to us the celebration of it all I think for us when people get caught up in the theology and the argument of was Jesus really born on December 25th and how does this all really work out and so tonight what I talked about in my message ooh, you see that it's cold oh baby it's cold outside um, I just talked about the fact that the sun, it takes eight minutes for light to get from the sun to the earth. It takes about that long for it to get from that light bulb to me right here. But the sun, that far away, takes eight minutes for light to get here. And the next closest star is Alpha Centauri, and it takes over four years for light to get from Alpha Centauri to here. Now, the difference between eight minutes and four years, it's a lot. It's a lot, and that's how far apart they are one from the other. And then we start to question the kind of things that happen here on Earth, like a virgin, oh, could there really be a virgin birth? Oh, or could there really be an infant who is to carry the message of love to all mankind, but then we believe in a star that's four light years away from the Earth, and another one that it takes eight minutes for the light to come to the earth. And without that light that's coming from the sun warming us, all of life on earth would be dead. I think we struggle with that, which is easy to believe if we would only open our hearts to belief. We'd only say, you know, here at Christmas, I really want to embrace the joy of belief. I want to embrace the miracle of love. I want to embrace my heart to open up to it because if I can believe the stars in the sky if I can believe the sun if I can even just believe that light hanging from the wall and somehow electricity works to get light here why can't I believe that there's light within me if I can believe in the joy and the sound of the music that's coming out Central Community Night why can't I believe that there's joy and there's a sound of joy that can come out from within me if you're awake tonight come on out Share the miracle. It's the last message I'll share of the decade. And I'd hate for you to miss the opportunity. Merry Christmas.